All right, so now we're going to start moving into permutation problems where we're taking a set number of objects at a time. Um, so let's say I have four objects and I just want to arrange two at a time. Um, to do that, we could use a combination of the uh, fundamental counting principle or a the formula. Uh, now, this formula is given on your formula sheet. So it says here the number of permutations of n distinct objects. So they have to be different objects, no repetitions. And if we're taking it r at a time, where r represents a natural number, Number, then the given formula for the number of arrangements here is n p r or n permu r is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial, where n has to be greater than or equal to r. Um, so we're going to use this formula here for this question here. It says that in the World Cup of Soccer, 32 teams compete for the title. What is the number of ways that the that the winner, runner up, third and fourth place prizes could be awarded? Uh, and then we want to verify our answers here. So there's two ways you could think this out. First of all, you can use a fundamental counting principle. So we have four places we need to um, fill in. So we have the winner, the runner-up, the third, and the fourth place. Now, once again, just pushing aside logistics here, we, we, have, um, we just assume every person or every team has an equal chance of making first. Um, so we have 32 options for the first place here, 31 options for the uh, runner-up place, uh, 30 for the third place, and 29 for the fourth place. Okay, so if you use the fundamental accounting principle, we need to multiply all these numbers together to get the total number of arrangements here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that here. We go 32 times 31 times 30 times 29, and that's going to give you a number, 863,040, all right? So it is quite the, the large number, but we are multiplying bigger numbers together. Um, so this is the total number of uh, permutations we have here, um, but I do want to show you how to, you could do this question using the formula. So we have the formula here, n permute r is equal to n factorial over n minus r uh, factorial. All right, so n represents the total number of objects that we're arranging here. So we have a total number of 32 teams here. And r represents how many we're, ch you know, how many we're arranging. Okay, so we're actually arranging four different spots here. So we have 32 per mu 4. Then on the top here, we have n factorial, which is this 32 factorial. On the bottom, I have 32 minus r, which is just 4. All right, so we can simplify this before we stick anything in our calculator. 32 factorial over 32 minus 4 factorial, that actually is the same thing as 20 factorial. Um, so once again, you could just stick this in your calculator, but you can also simplify this. You can simplify the bigger expression here. Remember, a factorial is just a descending number of sequences. Uh, so 32 times 31 times 30 times 29 times 28. I'm actually going to stop there because now I can cancel out the 28 factorial on the bottom. And what you're going to notice here is you're actually left with 32 times 31 times 30 times 29. And that actually is the same exact expression we got when we used the fundamental counting principle. So once again, they go hand in hand. Um, so you're going to get the same number here, 863040. Thank you.